Hello, I'm Adam Caesar. This is Project Black T-Shirt, where I usually look at a horror movie and then partner it with a horror book that you might like to read if you like that movie. But today we're not doing any of that. Today we have another unboxing. And I did one of these like a month or so ago when I did the uh, full moon. Pointing at Blade back there. Full moon entertainment, blind box, uh, monthly unboxing thing. That one I... Uh, paid for out of my own pocket. It wasn't sponsored content or anything like that. I just figured I'd goof around because I love Full Moon and show you guys what I got. I wasn't expecting to enjoy that as much as I enjoyed it. Uh, so when the fine folks at Creepy Crate, that's Creepy Crate by the lineup, asked me if I wanted to uh, check out their product, I looked at their product description and it said that they include a book with every box and it wasn't just going to be kind of you know, overstock Walking Dead toys from Spencer's Gifts, I was like, you know what, that actually sounds promising, so let, why don't you send me the box and I'll open it up. Uh, it has not been opened, it's still sealed, I don't know what's in it. I said, you know what, I'll give you my honest appraisal and I will upload it onto the internet if you send me one of these boxes. Um, and they, they were like, okay, that's cool. And we're gonna open it up right now. I'm gonna go grab my knife and I'm gonna try not to, uh, grievously injure myself on YouTube. That's not the content I provide here. Oh God, he's cutting towards himself. Oh, all right. Not actually much cutting, it's just one little, uh, one little strip of tape here. Okay, so we're gonna open up the creepy crate. Ooh, nice snug, uh, nice snug fit. This is what it looks like. It's got some some creepy Excelsior, some creepy flash in there. Ooh, that's gonna get all over. Um, feast your eyes on a full box of misery. They actually tell you what's in it, so I'm not gonna read through this because it just, it'll spoil all the fun of me holding random crap up to the camera. So you get what's in it, which is nice because it means that uh, you're not just getting a random assortment of stuff Every box is actually getting the same thing, and it's been somewhat curated, so there's a menu. Guessing the theme is is a uh, feast your eyes on a box full of mystery. There are spoons and forks, so the theme must be maybe cannibal themed. I should mention that Creepy Crate is brought to you by the lineup, and the lineup is a website that uh, I have some friends that actually write for. It is a nonfiction kind of creepy slash true crime website. Uh, they do articles about um, true crime and haunted places and stuff like that, but they try to do like a kind of a more journalistic spin on it than just like folk tales and stuff like that. So promising already, like I said. All right, we have a box here, a box that is kind of already open. Let's let's send some of that, some of that spooky, creepy Excelsior. Uh, let's see. Ooh, it's a flask. It's a flask with everyone's favorite Michael Myers embossed on there. The shape, very topical since the, uh, the, uh, the, the Blumhouse uh, Halloween just premiered its trailer at CinemaCon and everyone's going crazy about how, how cool the new movie's gonna be and that it ignores um, all, the se all the sequels um, and it's just kind of a direct sequel to the first one, which I think is a good way to go. You got David Gordon Green there probably going to make a good movie because he is a very good director. Um, so I'm excited for that. And maybe when I go see it, I'll sneak some illicit juicy juice in with my Michael Myers flask. Um, some more creepy Excelsior and a skull and crossbones. I'm guessing, oh, it's, it's soft silicon cone Con, silicone tea infuser for your tea. A little bit of ephemera. Uh, I drink tea. Not usually loose leaf tea, but I will get some now to put in my skull and crossbones. So far, so good, right? So far, we're uh, we're we're doing we're making out here. Another uh, another piece of uh, cutlery or kitchen. Where uh, a spoon, a gold spoon, with a uh, with a skull kind of carved into there, which 
pretty neat. Goes along with your uh, your tea. Put your uh, honey in there, or uh, sugar cube, and stir it up. Wow, it's like it's like this has become like the Martha Martha Stewart uh, channel. This is crazy because we have we have I guess not a T-shirt like you might get in other boxes. No, 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 not for the creepy crate crowd. We've got tonight. I'm having a friend for uh, a friend for dinner. A little cannibal joke there. An apron, apron with pockets. An apron with pockets, which may be the only useful kind of apron. All right, now we have something that's that's not that's not just a a, a plain old uh, piece of housewares. We have maybe the main event, and honestly, a. Uh, Something I've been looking forward to, something I've actually had in my Amazon cart and ready to buy, which now I'm kind of glad I didn't because Creepy Crate sent it to me. I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. This is, uh, again, very topical, kind of like the uh, flask. Uh, how does Creepy Crate, maybe Creepy Crate knows what's going to be in the news and then they build their uh, mystery boxes accordingly. Uh, but I'll Be Gone in the Dark, this is about the Golden State Killer. This is a uh, true crime account uh, by Michelle McNamara, the late and famed investigative reporter, uh, about the Golden State Killer and her, her kind of search, one woman's obsessive search for the Golden State Killer. With an introduction by Gillian Flynn, we've talked about her uh, in some of my book videos. We talked about Sharp Objects and how much I love that book. With an afterword by Patton Oswalt. Um, the late Michelle McNamara's uh, husband. So this is something I'm really, really looking forward to. And I, I hear this book is great and it's been in the news. They just caught the guy. Thankfully, they just caught the guy. So it's gonna be a great book to read, to check out. And it's a hardcover. Good on Creepy Crate for bringing, you know, bringing quality. This is a nice, um, I don't know what the, uh, this is a nice book with a cover price of $27.99. Uh, US, which again, I would have ran out and, and bought had I not gotten in my creepy crate. So it's a bi-monthly crate, comes every other month, I guess, so they can curate these extra kind of specific goodies. But on, on the book alone, it would have been worth it this month. Um, and you get all the other fun kind of knick-knacky stuff. Uh, let's see if there is anything else in here other than I've got creepy... Excelsior all over my hands, but there is one more thing one final parting shot a Cookie cutter that I guess is shaped like an axe For axe murdering cookies very small axe murdering cookies or like Tea cookies to go along with your tea infuser and your skull spoon. So very very cool uh, stuff from Creepy crate. I would say this is probably your mileage is going to vary. If you're a person who values kind of the collectible and houseware side of things, at least this month's Creepy Crate definitely erred towards that. I mean, look at me. I'm wearing a apron. Cool stuff. Let's hold it up again. The book by Michelle McNamara, which is definitely the real star here. Uh, spoon. And good old uh, John Carpenter's favorite son. Uh, good old Michael there. That's it. And just a ton of Excelsior. That's the box. So I'll put the link down in the description for Creepy Crate. If you like this video, please hit like. If you really like this video, please subscribe. Check out my other stuff. As I said at the beginning of the video, it's not usually the type of channel where you hang out and watch me uh, open up boxes of stuff. We usually do talk about horror film and then talk about horror literature and then talk about all kinds of uh, deeper, weightier thematics and uh, cinephile concerns. But sometimes it's fun to break three, get out the apron, uh, and, and, and open up some premium Creepy Crate sponsored content. Would it have been a good purchase? I think so, just for the book, because I think that's a, a really quality product. And they do ensure that you're going to get a book with every box, and it's kind of related to the type of stuff that they publish on the lineup. So if you haven't checked out that website, do it. Yeah, for true crime fans, for horror fans, for the more, um, I guess, adult end of the spectrum, not kind of all that crazy and, and goofy. Creepy Crate seems like a quality product and I'm happy that they sent me one and I'm happy that I can unbox it for all of you out in internet land. Have a great week everyone and I'll see you next week uh, where I'll be talking about a movie.